we're going to do a little bit of an experiment here. Each one of these tables is filled with thousands of vials with antacid tablets in them. You guys use those? Yes. We're going to see what we can do and make a couple of rockets with them. So are you guys ready? Yes. Is everybody ready? All right. On three. Three, two, one. Boy, that's a lot. My name is Kevin Delaney. I've been showing off the magic of science for years. Everywhere from museums to late night talk shows. Science is all around us, and I want the world to see it. So I'm combining everyday elements in ways that will blow your mind. I've got a team of experts and high-tech cameras that will reveal the science that surrounds us in ways you've never seen before. I'm taking science to the streets. This is Street Science. I'm testing to see if it's possible to make working rockets from everyday household items. Darren and I are off to a restaurant where the team is setting up for a large-scale attempt to use carbon dioxide gas to power mini rockets. But first, a snack. I'm digging in for another. More hot stuff. Yep. Oh, boy. I'm feeling so hot, huh? Mm. Hello. Hey, what's up? You guys are doing good? Yep. Yeah. Doing real well. Here's some napkins. I think I might have even had too much. You're full already. Yeah, I'm moving on to antacids. Do you ever use those? That might sound like an odd question, but I'm going to show these folks how a simple antacid can launch a very tiny rocket. I have some antacid tablets in here. So you drop it in water and it fizzes and it makes you feel better. Okay. So I'm gonna pour just a little bit of water in there, okay? down. So that antacid's gonna release all that gas. In just a second. <laughs> yep, that's it. There you go. It's cool. The pressure produced by a dissolving antacid tablet is comparable to the pressure created by shaking a can of soda. The antacid is made up of sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. And when you mix it with water, a reaction occurs, giving off a lot of carbon dioxide. And the pop is the result of the built-up pressure of the gas escaping. What if instead of one of these, we had 5,000 of them? You'd have to take cover, probably. <laughs> well, I'll show you guys something cool inside. OK. Our challenge is to launch 5,000 of these tiny rockets all at once. To give it our best shot, the entire team is putting together this giant contraption. Chris Jufre, our lead builder, has brought in three huge pivoting tables. The team is gluing 5,000 bottle caps to the table with 5,000 antacid tablets glued onto them. We then fill each of the bottles with just a teaspoon of water, then pop them onto the cap right side up. When everything is in position, we'll flip these tables over and see what happens. Hi, everybody. I'm Hello. Kevin. We're going to do a little bit of an experiment here. Each one of these tables is filled with thousands of vials with antacid tablets in them. You guys use those? Yes. We're going to see what we can do and make a couple of rockets with them. So are you guys ready? Yeah. Is everybody ready? All right. On three. Three, two, one. Boy, that's a lot. Of Has a stomach ache. Sorry, 
we bought all the antacid in town. <laughs> Basically what happened, as soon as that antacid tablet, which is just sodium bicarbonate and citric acid and a little aspirin, as soon as it hits that water, it's an acid-base reaction. It gives off carbon dioxide gas. That gas builds up pressure underneath the lid and eventually enough pressure to pop it up in the air. When we look at Darren's slow motion camera work, we can see what's really going on. Gas builds up inside the container with nowhere to go. Since the lid is the weakest point, that's why the bottle pops off, leaving the lid behind and displaying some impressive thrust. What did y'all think? It was quite interesting to watch. I wish I could have been like right there underneath the table during it though. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. Yeah, it would be. It's crazy. It all came up at once. Yeah, you can't really time too much to it. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. It's a release of a lot of pressure really, really quickly. So we have a little teeny tiny antacid rocket, but a lot of them. So thank you all. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you all very much for letting us invade this place and show you guys a little bit of science today. Thank you guys. <laughs> 우주에서 가장 재미있는 채널 디스커버리.